now that we know our data and we understand how it has been structured let us move forward and let us upload this data to power pivot now yes that point is important you can see that my data is already available in this excel file but even then my power pivot does not know about data this is because power pivot is a separate tool even though that lives within excel this data is not recognized to power pivot until unless we upload that here so once i click on the data model my data will be you know available in power pivot only after that so before i do that let me make sure one more thing and that is we got to make sure that our data is in the table what does that mean let me show you so if i go to this insert tab here you will see that we have a table option here since i have already added the table you can see that these fields look a little different from the rest of the sheet right so you can see a little different lining here so when we click on table excel adds a table on the data that is available here so what that will do is that that will make my sheet separate from this data so if i talk about gl sheet that will include all of those empty rows and empty columns as well but if i talk about tbl underscore gl table we are only referring to these specific five columns and if i scroll down uh, up till this 27910 rows so my table is only efficiently bringing in this data here and it will also make sure that if anything if anything is available in this sheet other than this table here that will be ignored and you can use this space for your other work as well okay so first of all you know we will go here and then we'll click on this table and you can see if i click anywhere else this table option is available but if i click here this table option has disappeared this is because we have already added a table so once you have added a table the next thing that you will do is you will go to this table design and you can actually choose a design from here as well but that doesn't really matter so we can stick to our design that we already have the important part is we need to add a table name and that table name should be something that you know quickly tells us that what we are talking about so since it was my gl i have mentioned tbl underscore gl tbl basically stands for table and now if you know we will write gl anywhere that will mean that i'm referring to the sheet and if i will talk about tbl underscore gl you can name it anything you can completely write the table or you can you know write something else that makes it remember to you but it is easier for me so i have given it like tbl underscore gl and when i talk about that you will always know that i'm talking about these specific data from row a to row f and to 27910 rows i'm sorry column a to column f and 27910 rows so this is the first table that we have added and we need to do the same thing for other four sheets as well so let me go to chart of accounts and you can see we have already added a table here as well and that table is tbl chart of accounts and if i can scroll to the bottom you will see that as soon as i uh, step outside this table now these options are gone so i'm no more living in my table so going back you can see i'm back to my table and this table is named as tbl underscore chart of accounts let me show you the territory as well you can see we already have table tbl underscore territory and in calendar we already have table that is tbl underscore calendar i repeat to add a table just click here and then go to insert tab and click on table and the table will be added okay so once we have added the tables the next thing that we need to do is that we need to tell our power pivot about this data and for that i will go to this power pivot here and i will click on add to data model now please uh, stop here for a moment and listen carefully if your data is already available in the excel file where you're working you can simply go to power pivot and click on add to data model but if you need to extract this data you know this data is somewhere else not available in this sheet rather it lives in some separate excel file or separate csv file or even in a separate database for that you will go to this data tab here and you will click here 
and then you can see we have all of these different different options even you can connect your databases as well so i will show you these options towards the end at this moment i will directly be moving towards power pivot and you know i will be working on my report creations so once we have done all of that i will show you that if your data is available somewhere else how you can use that option as well but just a quick note for 2010 and 2013 excel users in your data in your data tab you will not see this option here get and transform data so uh, you know this these options will be available in power query and once you download and install that that power query will be available as a separate tab and then you can use this get data option there so just another quick note this get and transform data is same thing as power query the new name of power query is get and transform data okay so now that we know all of these basics let us talk about uh, adding this data to the data model and for that let us simply click here anywhere in the table and go to power pivot and then now click on add to data model so now you can see that excel has opened a new window for me this is basically a power pivot window and here a tbl underscore gl you can see here has been added and you can see all of those details that were available there has been added here so that was the first sheet and we need to add all others as well so i will minimize this and i will go to chart of accounts and i'll say add to data model I give it a second and now you can see we have our second sheet as well so the first sheet is here tbl underscore gl and the second sheet is here tbl underscore chart of accounts let us go to the third one territory and do the same thing add to data model and this is also added and finally let us go to our last sheet that is calendar and let us do the same thing add to data model okay so now you can see that all of those four sheets have been added to my power pivot a data model now one more thing that we need to do and that is uh, we actually personally know here that with our intelligence we know that uh, how these tables are interconnected right this tblgl if i have to find the details of account key i can go to chart of accounts and if i have to find the details of this territory key i can go to this territory and if i have to pick up the uh, further details about you know the state we can actually move to the calendar we know that but excel does not know that at this moment we will have to actually tell our excel our power pivot that these tables are actually interconnected and how using which parameter they can be interconnected that part is called data modeling and let us do that in the next lecture